Matt, uh, you've often said that it all looks good when the ball goes to hoop, and uh, they were the leading three-point shooting defensive team in the league, coming at 30.7 percent, mm -hmm. 12 to 23. That one run there, 12 up in the first half, kind of turned the game. Right. How important was it the way you were? They were playing you. Right. To, to make threes tonight. Yeah, well obviously we work a lot on, on getting double in the post, you know, in various ways. I thought tonight the way they started the game wasn't anything that we thought, you know, that they, they wouldn't do. They just came with a good quick double. And uh, you know, we didn't make, you know, good decisions to start the game. And um, you know, we had to kind of make an adjustment, you know, to that. Just in terms of just being solid, nothing schematic and just uh, secure the basketball and move the basketball and they were coming with their other big. And I thought Vince Edwards really opened some things up for us um, with his ability to shoot, not just because one guy, but because he was the four. And that's who they were trying, you know, for the most part, to double. And uh, once we did that, I thought that really opened some things up. And our guys made better decisions and we got good looks at the basket. Why was your team uh, so successful defensively? Well, I, I thought, first of all, I thought um, Matthias did a good job on Vic Law and just didn't let him get his head up and get going. Um, I thought our ball screen defense was better. Um, to their defense, you know, they don't have their leading score. You know, they don't have tap horn who can really shoot the basketball um, and really can stretch the defense for them. So, you know, they, they were shorthanded. And, um, you know, I, I thought we did a better job in our ball screen D. And I thought our guys did a good job of just being prepared, you know, for what they run and just not letting them get um, where they wanted to do in some of their sets. and. I thought we had a handful of times where we did a good job contesting, and they, they still knocked them down, especially in the first half. And um, but you know, like I said, to, to their defense, you know, they don't have their leading score. And um, anytime you're a little shorthand, especially when you're on the road, you know, it's and it doesn't kind of go your way. So things don't go your way. It's difficult. Matt, um, if you don't mind, two questions. You, you mentioned um, they were trying to double off Vince. Do you mean Vince's guy was leading? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, and the real question, Swan again, three turnovers on his first three touches, right. and you yank him. Right. What do you say to him? And, and, and he just has to settle down. That's right. So I guess three questions. Okay. What do you say to him? But then how impressive is it that he comes back and does 24 and 16? I can follow you the hallway if you want, but you know, right, right, right. how impressive is it 24 and 16 yeah. after that? I just thought, you know, he just had to settle down, and, you know, they did a good job of getting their hands um, on the ball, and they deflected some of his passes. And uh, I thought when he went back in there, he, you know, was, was aggressive on the glass, and let some things come to him. And uh, you're just obviously a, a great player, you know. Anytime you, know, you face a little bit of adversity, sometimes it's hard to overcome or, you know, kind of get back to where, you know, you play well during the course of a game. And, you know, he, he, he's not that type of a guy. He just keeps playing hard. And, um, but that, that's, that's been his Achilles a little bit, has, has been those turnovers. And, uh, you know, if he cuts down on those turnovers, that, that really, really helps us. But he sets the tone for us. You know, he's, um, he's really good. He can make threes. Um, he can stretch the defense, he can play on the interior, he can pass, and obviously he's the best rebounder in the country. You kind of already alluded to it, but the, the impact that Vince had early, maybe especially considering he hasn't really seemed like he's been making an impact these last couple games. I know the back injury probably played into that somewhat, but it seemed like maybe he needed, and the team needed him to have the kind of first half. No question. You know, he, anytime you, you, know, you, you go through some tough times, whether it's an injury or you, know, you just don't get looks or ball doesn't go in for you. You know, you need some um, positive reinforcement, you know, with, with the ball going in, you know, just, just feeling good about yourself. So it was great for him, but it was also great for our team because it gives us such balance when, you know, he makes threes and everybody else is making threes. And it's not going to be your night every night. And so that's, you know, outside, you know, Isaac doesn't really shoot on the perimeter, even though he can make a 15 footer, but everybody else who plays for us, you know, you know shoots a you know, good percentage, of, if not this year for their career. And uh, it just puts people in binds. And so if we can you know, continue to make good decisions and Vince can be that guy who's in between, who can drive the basketball, make a pull up, but also make threes, um, you know, it really helps us out. It seems like Klein had a lot to do with a lot of the threes yeah. you got in the first half too. Just his floor game, I guess. Right. What was working for him? It, it was great, you know, whether it was transition or the half court, you know, he ended up being the guy making that next pass you know, for us and uh, made a couple nice reads in transition and made a couple nice reads and rotations of just moving the basketball and uh, led, led to some baskets. But he, in that stretch in the first half, uh, you know, three or four of those were his assists.
this was another case of you guys bouncing back off of a loss. Again, just what, what makes you guys so good at that? You know, you, you hope you don't have to get to that point always to, to be that way, and you hope you can grow and mature as a group to where you can try to stay on edge, especially after you win, you know, two, three, four games, whatever it might be. And, um, but, you know, losing puts you back on edge. Losing makes you realize there, there's slippage. And that's as a coach, you know, I got to do a better job of, you know, not letting that slippage happen. And uh, we've had, you know, some people have career nights against us. You know, obviously Nate Mason, Peter Jock, and then the two guys that came off the bench for Nebraska, you know, they, they combined 36, 37 points. I forget the actual total. You know, that, that, was, that was tough. That was tough for us because, you know, you do a good job on the leading scores, and then you let something like that happen. Nate Mason's an all-conference caliber guy. You know, Peter Jock's probably going to be a first-team all-conference guy, or if not, second team. Um, but then you let people come off the bench and do that kind of damage. You know, for us, it, you know, you, you, we have a mature group. We, we have guys that understand the game. But you've got to be able to respect people that come off somebody's bench. You know, maybe they just don't quite have that opportunity. But there's good players everywhere. And just because maybe you don't start a game doesn't mean you're not a good player. And I just thought we did a poor job of, of recognizing those two guys. And then, like, tonight, you know, now they, they lose a couple of their guys. And they got some people come off the bench, and that's what we really talked about. We talked about how good Brown is. You know, Brown's a good player, but he, you know, he plays with three really good guards. So sometimes it's tough. You don't have quite the opportunity because you have McIntosh, you have Lindsey, you have Law. And we really tried to sell them on that. I thought our guys did a good job of respecting him and not letting him get going because he, he's got a chance to, you know, down the road to be an all-conference guy. He's a talented kid. Coach, um, you had 17 assists on 24 made baskets. What do you attribute to that? Just moving the basketball. Um, those guys, uh, you know, doubling in the post or, you know, over helping and just, just moving the ball. And I'd attribute some of those turnovers, you know, to their defense too. You know, they, they've done a good job with their, their, their group in terms of their team defense. But uh, just, just being unselfish and trying to move the ball. We, we really try to push, even though people don't, coaches understand, but a lot of people don't realize, we really try to push the basketball. And, uh, and, and try to set the tone and just try to get something before you get set. And if you don't, we just try to move the basketball as quick as we can to get you behind plays. And if not, we, you know, we run a lot of stuff for shooters. We run a lot of stuff for um, our big guys trying to get the ball inside. And get you in a rotation, whether you over help or you double the post or get aggressive with the ball screen. We just try to get the ball out of our hands as quick as possible. And when we don't do that, that's how we, that's how we struggle. But when we do do that, that's, why we, that's how we have a lot of success. Last one in the back there. Um, coach, you help uh, Vic Lovins, I guess, in the plus he's leading healthy score. Just one plus. Is there anything you did on him? You know, we, we just wanted to stay with him. You know, we, we didn't want him to be able to come off those pin downs. We didn't want him to post up. So we tried to take his post ups away. And uh, let our five come in more and open up on those back screens and the shuffles and the, the flex cuts and just stay in there until that guy could get around. So we didn't want him to post up. We didn't want him to come off pin downs clean. And then we wanted to try our best to find him in transition. Because um, we know that you know he's streaky and he's a guy. Once he hits one, now sometimes you know he you can be actually be there and he still makes them. So he's a good player, man. He's really improved. And um, you know sometimes getting on the road, not giving those guys opportunities. Like he had seven shots. You know I think that was probably the, the telltale for us that we didn't give him a lot of opportunities. All right, thank you. Mike. Do you need anything? You good? You good? Okay. All right.